Okay, welcome to another video. In this one I'm going to look at a, quite an important thing that Microsoft released this week um, and it's concerning the security and vulnerability of their gadgets and sidebar. Now, Microsoft have put a, a, a patch out and a fix out for this this week and as I'm recording now it's currently July 2012. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to disable and get rid of the vulnerability and the gadgets uh, again as I say in Windows 7 and Windows Vista. So all we need to do is we open a browser up, we need to go to one of Microsoft's support pages. Um, I'll put a link in the description. Um, you can also see here the, the address. Um, make sure you're downloading these fixes from the correct address. So a little summary from Microsoft concerning the problem and basically they've put out a fix for this. Now we get two fix it buttons. One disables the gadgets and the sidebars uh, as you'll see here and one re-enables them. Um, the one we're interested in is the disable one, so all we do is we left click and that will download the little installer, the little execute file. Um, I'm using Google Chrome, depending on which browser you, you get, just depending on how you execute this, but once you get to your execute, you just basically want to click on run, agree to the terms and click next. Now. This fix is going to create a restore point just in case anything is to go wrong during the installation of this. User account control is going to jump in. Left click on yes. Again, just check that you're downloading this off the Microsoft site. The link in the description is to this download. So once that's finished, just click close. It's then going to ask us to restart our computer. So left click on yes. And we're going to restart. Okay, once your computer's restarted, you'll see that we've got a notification on the desktop. Um, which reads that gadgets um, are managed by the administrator. This basically just stops you adding any more or having any sort of contact with the sidebar or anything like that. Um, you'll also see that the gadgets have been removed. Um, we can click on close. Now, the way we used to add gadgets was basically right click on the desktop and go down to gadgets and then left click gadgets. And now again, all we'll see is the notification saying that it's administrator run. So there we go. That's the fix for the gadget vulnerabilities in Windows 7 and Vista, and I'd like to thank you for watching.